So I just got back from a garage sale, um, one of the few that I've went to um, this year. And well, this is a surprising haul. Um, first we'll look over here. This computer has a motherboard, obviously, a 500 watt power supply, not sure about that. Um, Intel i7-2600, probably, because um, other cooler, it's a generic cooler, but it's probably that, um, at 3.4 gigahertz, Sandy Bridge. 16 gigs of RAM, yeah, because there's four sticks in there, so probably each are um, four gigs and a one gig graphics card. It needs a new hard drive. I have an SSD I'll put in it. Um, so I got that, and a mouse. It's not an Intel mouse, it's a wheel mouse optical USB. Weird name, but whatever. I need it because look how nasty that is, look how nice that is. And it has the buttons on the side. I never liked the buttons on the side. I'd always, I'd always click them and make me go back. Anyways, here's what we got. Here's the full system right here. Um, has this thing. It's like something that'd be on a server, which is pretty neat. Um, PDS, never heard of it. Um, from what I can tell, it's a Infinity SDSW. Uh, um, it's like a in-house brand. Uh, what Windows is it? Windows 7, okay. It's cool, I can always use Windows 7 or just use the code for Windows 7 for different things. Um, Take a look inside here. Can you guys see anything? Let me see if I can bend it down more. See, can you see it says Quattro? There's Intel thing right there. Um, well, I'm gonna open this up and then we'll see what's actually in here. Well, the power supply is Seasonic, so that's decent. It says 500 watts, so I'm hoping that's it. Actually, this is a good power supply. 80 plus bronze. I think it's the first one I've ever had that's any plus. So that's pretty neat. I'm not sure if there's any connectors for a graphic card on here. If there is, then I'll use it. Otherwise, I'll be switching it out. It's a Quattro graphics card. I don't know if you can tell, but I have a feeling if I move the camera upside down, it's gonna mess it up, but we'll pull it out in a little bit. There's your RAM and um, it's an Intel motherboard, it looks like, it's green. Yeah, Intel motherboard right there. You can see in between the RAM slots, Intel motherboard. Generic fan, whatever. Um, no hard drive, obviously, that's what it said. Two fans, actually. That's cool. This will probably be moved into my Cooler Master case as of, or for now at least. And I want to get a NZXT case, the one that everyone uses. Um, not sure, but I really want to get that one with the glass. Probably a different motherboard. I'm just using this for a CPU. $25 for this CPU is a really good price, I think. See, because it's a 2600, so. Um,. Um, when I take everything out, I'll switch, or um, I'll Google how much 2600 is, which I'll do right now. It's about a $100 processor, so really good steal. Got about for 75% off, plus all the other parts that can be sold, or I don't like to sell stuff, um, really, so I'll just use it. Um, let's boot it up before I actually take it apart, and then we'll strip it down and put it in the Cooler Master case. Alrighty. Oh, I always forget this part. Now, there we go. PDS, they have their custom thing. Yeah, keyboard not found, obviously. Um, I did notice there's no key for this, so. Oh well. Alrighty, uh, I guess I'll put a hard drive in it. Got my SSD, this is the one from the let go haul a uh, while back. Um, oh, there goes the tripod, it's moving. I'm gonna dig through there for um, some different cords, see if there's a cord for the um, uh, graphics card, and then I'll put the SSD in, and then we'll boot it up. I'll just do that off camera. I just clicked the power supply switch and turn back on. Well, anyways, the thing's hooked up. Ooh, we need a keyboard, too. Keyboard not found. I don't know what, um, what's on this SSD. We'll have to see. Probably nothing. Wait, what? Oh, I guess it's automatically booting. I'm going to put a mouse and a keyboard um, on here. Windows 10 just restarted um, for the second time, I believe. 
Um, so that's good. Um, got my keyboard and mouse hooked up anyways. Notice that this is a light scribe, so that's cool. Keep that to SATA light scribe. So I can finally get rid of all my IDE light scribes that I was keeping and just keep SATA ones, so that's cool. Um, I'm gonna strip this down and swap cases in another video. So I'm gonna make two videos out of this. I was just fooling around and I hit this. I was like, why is this moving? It opens. So I guess the key's not locked, so that's cool. Yep, that's pretty neat. I absolutely hate when this happens, so I guess we'll just press enter and wait. This absolutely sucks. I seem to never be able to get past it. Whatever, if I get past it, I get past it. If I don't, then I'll swap cases and deal with it later. Well, I did it again, so I'm just gonna shut it off, move around with it, put a different, maybe a different SSD in it, because I have an SSD in my N200, and maybe that'll work better. Maybe I'm messing, missing something, but um, not really sure. Next video, I'll strip it down and swap out the cases, and then I'll worry about it. Anyways, thanks for watching.